I'm Naomi and I'm the Restorative Justice Program Manager. In the summer of 2011, we started a summer leadership internship program for some of the youth leaders from our schools around the city who have been involved in restorative justice work in their schools. The purpose of the summer internship was for students to build relationships with each other, to um, deepen their understanding of themselves as leaders, and to be able to deepen their knowledge and understanding of restorative justice and its connections to human rights and creating change in their schools and communities. Saying, no, I don't, I don't like it. So I just learned that it's better when everybody wants to cooperate and just fix the issue and make it better. I'm Carlos Gutierrez, I'm 17, and I'm from Coleman High School. I want to do this because I want to learn more about restorative justice and also learn more about myself. On the first day, it was all focused on teamwork and leadership development. So we took a field trip uh, to Irons Oaks where they did a high ropes course. I think that students were were pretty nervous, but they they tried it out, they, they went up, they did it, and it was a really great day for everyone. We were we were there in the ropes course for, for four hours and it was really, really fun. Teamwork. This is like a teamwork activity. My name is Darius, I'm 15 and I go to Michelle Clark High School. I wanted to do this program because not only did it give me something just to do over the summertime instead of just like hanging around the neighborhood, but it gave me a chance to actually explore some new things, the things in this program I have done I've never done before. And it gives me a chance to learn more about restorative justice, like it was some things that I learned in this program that I never knew existed. Day two was focused on restorative justice, human rights, and connecting that to, um, to the Whole House Museum where we were going to be going on the third day. Students were able to deepen their understanding of what restorative justice was and the way that restorative justice looks not only in the city of Chicago but also around the world. Okay, one thing I learned today in the rights of the child Article number 16, it states. <laughs> yes, and I like this one. On day three, we went to the Jane Addams Whole House Museum. Many students had not been to the Whole House Museum before and didn't know a lot of the history that went along with um, the advocacy work that she was doing, along with some of the issues that they saw. So they got to have some conversations, not only about the history of this work, but also about how that connects to the social justice issues that they're seeing in, in their communities right at this present day. In the afternoon, they got to volunteer at the Whole House Museum's urban farm, and that was really, really fun. They got to talk with the urban farmer that's there about food justice and food sustainability and how people can grow their own produce and their own food in the city. It was a really great experience. We, they got to take home onions and garlic, and we got to talk about access to healthy food in different neighborhoods. On day four, we went sailing. We have a great partnership with a man named Isidore Rezek, who owns a sailboat, and he was gracious enough to let us come on his boat and help to teach students how to sail. The whole purpose of the day was to talk about um, talk about leadership and perspective. And so when you're out on the water and you're seeing the city from out on the lake, it does give you a different sense of, just a different sense of perspective and a different sense of what the city is like. lunch out on the boat as well um, and then we're able to spend the afternoon talking about how that experience relates to them and their growth as leaders, how it how it's important to be able to see situations from multiple perspectives in order to be able to take the best course of action not only for yourself in your lives but also when you're working to you know take positive action in your community. I'm going to take what I learned here and help others so they know that 
whatever they want to do, they can do it. And when something happens, it's not always that one consequence, that there are alternatives. So day five was our last day of the program. That whole day was focused on how do you take action steps to create change. We also spent a lot of time just reflecting on the week and, and what they learned from their experience and how they're going to take that experience forward with them into their lives. It was really wonderful to see the growth in students over the course of the week. So many of them said to me and to the other facilitators of, of the program that they they hadn't really had a chance to talk with a lot of other students about these issues and so they were so happy that they finally got to meet other young people in the city that cared about the same things that they did. This was an awesome program and I'm very thankful that I had a chance to experience it. A lot of opportunities. I hope and pray that we that everyone doesn't get to do this and it's just I, I enjoyed it. It was very And cool. I love everybody. I love I love y'all. Y'all very nice. Thank you. Well, I would like to be in more programs like this because I feel like this program already reached out to me. and I, only I learned a lot. I learned it's people like me who uh, want to help out the world, know about um, everything. I learned that I can like overcome obstacles oh God, and that I can like tell people I had to overcome this obstacle and this is how I did it.